Good morning, church. Bringing you today's devotion. It's about waiting on the Lord. And I'm sure we've heard this many times, uh, what it means to wait on the Lord, what it means to understand His ways are not our ways, and His thoughts are not our thoughts, and how God deals with situations compared to how we deal with situations. But here's what I really want to encourage us all about is, when we are faced with fear and distress, uh, we are encouraged to cast all our anxieties onto the Lord because He cares for us. Uh, that's from 1 Peter 5, 7. Um, but after we pray for a problem, our tendency is to immediately wait to start looking for God's answers, almost like, God's what's happening? I prayed about this. Uh, I'm not getting the expected result or whatever it is. Uh, however, God often requires a waiting uh, for us before He answers because He wants us to know also understand the depth of what we are praying for. Uh, what is it our hearts are actually uh, yearning for, asking God about things. Um, so sometimes we need to uh, keep ourselves in the position of waiting uh, because we have uh, asked God to do things. We are praying in those contents and, and contexts of saying, God, would you come and do this? Would you come and sort this out? Would you help me with this? Uh, and once we've done that, we must, in our faith, we must know that God has heard our prayer. Uh, but then also in our faith, we must wait for God to answer uh, whatever the answer could be or whatever the uh, the outcome of those prayers are. We must wait in that. Uh, I love Romans 8, 25 to 26. It says, God also promised to help those who can't even muster the words to, sit, to pray. Uh, like the Apostle Paul writes in Romans, he says, but if we hope for what we do not yet have, we wait for it patiently. In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. That's from Romans 8, 25 and 6. You see, the Holy Spirit comes alongside believers and prays with and for them. Uh, even as they await an answer. And I have this beautiful image of when I'm praying about something and I'm waiting in God's presence, I can almost see that the Holy Spirit, not just in me, but beside me, sitting and waiting with me, uh, even though he knows the answers, but he's waiting with me. He's there in the solution. He's there in the situation. He's there uh, in, 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 in the anxiety. He's in there. He's there with my unknowing of things. He's just there with me. And how many times do we actually allow the Holy Spirit to minister to us about what it means to wait in God's presence? Um, so my encouragement to you this morning is, as you wait, as you wait for your answers, as you wait for your prayers, as you wait for the decisions you're making uh, by bringing it to God, uh, waiting does not mean silence. Waiting means there is an answer that's coming and the answer will be from the Lord because we are expecting uh, him to carry us in those situations because he is our father. So as you wait this morning or throughout the week on, on whatever the things and situations you're praying for, uh, wait not just in expectation, but wait in revelation of what God will do. Wait because God has a better plan than we have. And if you truly trust God, um, if you truly believe that he is your father, um, sometimes the waiting in the father's presence is about knowing that the father is working on our behalf, knowing that the father is doing something remarkable, um, knowing that Jesus himself is interceding on our behalf, knowing that as we read earlier, the spirit himself is also interceding on our behalf. We have the beautiful language of family in those moments. We have the Father, the Son, and the Spirit, and ourselves in that mix of situations saying, we are with you, and we will see you through this. So wait, wait on the Lord for whatever things you've been asking him about. Um, and know, above all things, know that he is the Lord, and he knows exactly what our hearts are thinking. Uh, let's pray together. Father, as we wait in these moments, as we wait in these precious times of not knowing of uncertainty, of certain uh, issues in our own lives and situations, uh, Father, we just pray, 
Will you teach us to wait in your presence? Will you teach us to calm the storms in ourselves, uh, to see the sunrise you are providing us? Father, teach us through the work of Jesus and the Holy Spirit that you've given each one of us that we will understand that you are working for our good uh, and you are a miracle working God. And we pray that we will learn to wait as you do things that no other can do. In Jesus' name, amen. Hope you have a great and blessed day today as you wait uh, and wait patiently in God's presence. Amen.